about the important aspect of development of e content it is licensing so which is very important for developing uh, any content we have to keep in mind the licensing and certificate so now i would request uh, dr monica to continue welcome ma'am and over to you thank you thank you for this uh, welcome address thank you ms pinky uh, very good afternoon to one and all uh, i am monica and i work in cit and crt now we will be discussing about oer open educational resources and licenses so it is uh, it is not just important because we are creating e content but it is important from various other aspects also and i am uh, quite sure that some of the participants who have uh, especially from ladakh who have been through these topics it might be a revision uh, for all of them because they have just gone through a face to face training uh, which was uh, specially organized by ladakh and also i could look at a few participants who are from previous uh, year state resource group uh, members who are so uh, this might be a repetition for a few or a revision for a few rather but a new thing for many uh, rest of the participants and it is a very very important component of e content development e content utilization e content implementation in the classroom i request all other to please uh, switch off their uh, mics uh, there is one vasantha some uh, from andhra pradesh the mic is on please switch it off uh, so now i'll share my screen so that we can start the presentation so here you can see on the screen itself that how we are all connected to each other you can see a globe and we as an individual are collect, connected globally with uh, different people different organization and we are able to access a lot of resources which are not even created by us and also which are created by whom we don't even know them so that's how we are connected but how to utilize these resources and how to be careful about oer and open licensing is very important to all of us so here we will talk about first of all two three concepts that will give us an understanding of uh, this overall uh, session what is a copyright what is public domain uh, what are our uh, what is our duty when uh, any content we see is a copyrighted content or when it is in public domain or what is oer how we can utilize it so we will start with what is exactly copyright so before that i will ask you what is a copyright you can you may write in the chat box or you may a few of you speak that what is a copyright are you aware of this term have you ever heard this term you may give your responses in the chat or you may also speak using the content uh, prepared by others without their permission okay without their permission we should not use their content yes shailaja madam has written ownership of particular content okay the type of resources also she is mentioning then duplication okay right so yes we are not to use the content without the owner's permission yes so yes we i got to know that something at least we know about this this is not a new term to any of us uh, right to copy original work registered content copyright owner has exclusive right copyright is an ownership you can just see it on my screen itself the chat is scrolling down copyright which means their own content yes very good uh, thank you for all these responses so now we will see what copyright is these are the rights of the creator of the content say for example you have created a video or an audio or just clicked an image you have a creator's right over it and authors or the creators protect their original work using copyright 
So it is not just like that you have uh, clicked an image and you can claim a copyright, but you have to register your content under copyright. Otherwise, you, uh, I mean, we definitely can say that this is clicked by me or uh, you can show other information, but for a claim of copyright, you have to have registered content. Or it is also termed as it is an incentive for creativity. Since we as a creator, we have done a certain level of uh, uh, exercise to create that particular content, that is our incentive, that copyright. It also provides financial compensation for the IPR. When something is registered under IPR, that is intellectual property, right? Where then we receive a certain financial comp uh, compensation. Now you have must have heard the authors of the books, the best selling books, or even the songs. If you are using the song uh, in some other film or something, then you have to take the copyright permission and you pay for it. That is the compensation which a creator gets. So these are the all incentives of a copyrighted uh, uh, product or con uh, e-content or any other kind of content. But we should also be aware that after a certain period of time, the copyright of a content expires. So it is, I'm not going to mention yours here, but it is different for every kind of different uh, kind of uh, uh, contents. And for the songs, it is somewhere around 20 to 25 years. For film, it is different. For books, it might be different. So they enter then, once the copyright is expired, it is the term is over, then the, the content moves into public domain. Now here a new term is coming, public domain, what it is. So public domain basically is anything which is under the public control, right? So these are the contents which are not protected by IPR or the IPR has expired. Then it does not have a copyright, it does not have a trademark or any patent laws applied to it. And also no individual can own this work. Rather they are owned by public because they are under the public domain. Which are the commonly work which are uh, available under public domain are the contents or materials for whom the copyright has already expired. And also the the content which is deliberately released under without copyright under public domain. Say for example, as a teacher, you, you created some content and you want everybody to use it and you release it under public domain, then it is a public domain thing. Or when uh, using works from public domain, you don't need to credit the author. This is one very important thing that the public domain thing, we don't need to really credit the author or we also don't need to get any permission for the public domain uh, artifacts. However, Hamesha, it is always better to give credit to that person. Even though it is mentioned, it is legally allowed that we need not give the credit, but giving credit is always better and safer option than any other thing. And also, are especially the educational content comes under plagiarism. So it won't, the content won't come under plagiarism if you are citing that source, citing that resource. So that is an important uh, information about public domain. Now, coming to OER. Yes? How can we do that uh, in public domain? How, how to get the we are coming. We are coming to it, ma'am. We are coming to right it. Right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> So uh, the, the, these were the two terms. Then the third term comes in how to go for public domain. That's very right. Or the third term, which we said was OER. That means open educational resources. So OER is a type of content which is openly available for use. It might be free. It might not be free. You might have to pay something for it, but it's, it is open. Now to how to differentiate between free and open. Free means you don't have to make any payment for buying anything. I'll give you an example. CIT content, the, all the audio video programs which CIT used to produce earlier were sold through CD counter in the CIT building and also in the uh, regional uh, institutes. 
but that content was not uh, sold it was only the hardware cost of the cd which was taken from the users so here the content was open you can use it you can further reuse it anything but the only hardware cost was uh, taken so that means the content was open but it was not free and in other cases if you see sometimes we get many things free but we cannot make changes to it we cannot reuse it or we cannot spread it further so then that is not open this is the basic difference between open and free now for making any resource under say for example public domain or open educational resource then an alternative licensing approach is available there are many uh, different uh, organizations bodies providing this approach but one is creative commons which was started by lawrence lessing it provides us with user friendly licenses for accessing and using digital content now accessing and using means any content which is available online we can use it access it and share it further without any problem now we will understand what creative commons does creative commons basically gives you four rights there are four rights mentioned under creative commons these are attribution you can also identify it by logo on your screen attribution means whenever you you are using the resource or content created by somebody else you have to give credit attribution only means this the second is share alike for example if you are using somebody's content now i have created a content in english but my telangana fellow mates wants uh, to maybe translate it into tamil or some other language i have given the permission that you can do it if it is under creative commons but only condition is share alike that once you recreate the resource using my resource please share it alike in the similar or same license you cannot change the license then there is non commercial in creative commons there is an option that you can um, share a resource for commercial purposes or for non commercial purposes so that option is given by this uh, sign dollar sign cross that means you cannot use the resource commercially but if it is not there then you can use it commercially then there is this equal to sign nd which says non derivative this means if i have used this term in my content then you cannot make changes to it you can use it you can reshare it you can copy it everything you can do but you cannot make changes to the content say for example our textbooks textbooks of ncert or textbooks of i think any state are not allowed for making changes by any other person because they are already gone through a certain level of vetting process and we cannot change a textbook with anybody get creeping in and changing it so those kind of resources are kept under non derivative now using these four rights these are the four rights only which creative commons give and based on these four rights we are going to draw different licenses these are six licenses which you which we can derive from that first is cc by cc by means <clears throat> now i'm coming here cc by means freely use first of all we know cc means creative commons by means attribution that we are going to give credit there is no other problem in this that there is no other permission required only thing is if you are using somebody's resource please give credit to that person that's it <clears throat> so you are allowed kya kya aap kar sakte hain what all you can do with the content is you can freely use that resource copy that resource adapt and distribute adapt means you can make changes you you want to change the language you want to add some more in images you want to maybe replace the audio you can do the changes and distribute to anyone kisi ko bhi aap you can share it with anybody provided that copyrighted owner is attributed that we are giving attribution or credit to the copyright owner you can freely use copy adapt and distribute distribute means even you can make profit out of it there is no problem if a content is released under cc by that means you can use it copy it make changes to it you can make profit out of it you can do anything only criteria is you have to give permission 
sorry, you have to give credit to the author of that particular resource. Next is CC by ND. We all know what ND means, no derivatives. That means we cannot make changes. CC we know, Creative Commons, ka license we are talking about. By means attribution, we have to give attribution. So here you can freely use the resource, copy the resource and distribute. Distribute means again, you can make profit also by selling the resource to anyone, but only in original form. That means you cannot make changes to any resource. So here the two terms are applied. A, you have to give credit, which is equal to no term. Thus B is you have to, you cannot make changes to the resource. CC by ND. Now the third is CC by SA. <clears throat> Here is uh, CC we all know now very well. By also we are aware that means attribution, credit. SA means share alike. Now we will understand this share alike because this might seem a slightly complex to you. Here you can freely use the resource. You can copy the resource. You can adapt. That means you can make changes. You can edit also and distribute. And you can also sell it for profit. Or you can simply distribute to your colleagues and teachers for further usage. You can do anything with that resource under the same terms. So here, if you are going to make any changes, then you have to release the new content under same license. So here, basically, you are using the resource, you are distributing the resource, you are editing the res uh, resource, you are also making profit out of it. All four things given in the first license you are able to do. Only thing is you have to give credit, which is also in the first license. The next new thing is you have to release the new content under same license. So what does it facilitate? One content was available in market. We used it. We edited it and we made a new content out of it. So this resource, this license, make sure that the resource does not stop there. Now, if you have recreated, you have to share it under same license. That means it will reach to further more audience. That's the purpose of this particular license. Now, the next is CC by NC. We are aware of CC by NC means non-commercial. If this word is added, then we have one simple term that you can use freely any resource, you can copy also, you can make changes also, that means you can edit also and distribute only for non-commercial purposes. You cannot distribute it for commercial purposes and you have to give the credit. That's it. Then coming to the next, now these are slightly rigid ones. This says CC by NC ND. That means CC we know, by we know. NC means non-commercial use is not allowed. I mean, commercial use is not allowed. ND means you cannot make changes. So what all we can do here is freely use a particular resource, copy a particular resource, and distribute that resource without making any profit. That means without any commercial use and in the original form. We cannot modify the form of the resource. We cannot edit the resource. So here, if you see the restriction is a little higher. This is actually the most restricted license of CC by SA. Now the last one is CC by NCS. That means you can use a particular resource, copy it, make changes to it or edit it, but you can not use it for commercial purposes. And also you have to give attribution. Attribution is all there in all the six licenses. You have to give attribution. You can see this image of a person standing in all the license. That means you have to give credit. The remaining things are changing and as per that, your license is allowed. Now I want to show you this image, which is very important for all of us to understand. We discussed CC BY. We discussed CC BY NC ND. That means, that means CC BY means the most free resource. You only have to give credit. Up if you are using someone else's resource, please use it. Go ahead, do anything with it. Only thing is just respect the efforts that a person has made. Give credit to them. That's it. 
On the other hand, the CC most restrictive license of CC is you have to give credit. That is one. You cannot use it for commercial purposes, and you cannot make changes in any kind of changes of any kind in the resource. Say, for example, audio image. No changes you can make in that particular resource if that is released under this license. But here also you can use it, distribute it, copy it. Only thing is you cannot make changes and you cannot make profit out. That is it. Only that's the restriction. And if we really see uh, the least restrictive is CC BY and more than that is public domain. Because in public domain, as I mentioned, you don't even need to give credit. But as an educator, we should always follow this norm that we will give credit. We will cite the resource. We will never use it like this. So CC BY and public domain for us is equal. On the other hand, copyright is the most restricted because we cannot use it without either payment or taking the permission. In CC licenses, you don't even need to take any kind of permission because you have applied this license. This license itself says that you don't need permission. You will be given credit for your resource. Now, we will just see through this image. You can see here CC BY, what all is allowed. Copy and publish, attribution required, commercial use, modify and adapt, change license. Even if you have taken any CC BY resource, you can change license of that. You can modify the license accordingly. CC BY SA, you can copy and publish. You can attribution is required. Commercial use is also required. Modify, adapt is also required. Only thing is you cannot change the license. As I said for SA, whenever SA is mentioned, that means share alike in the same license. Similarly, you can see how, what are the basic um, facilities under each license are we mentioned here. Now we'll move ahead. We are saying attribute, 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 give credit, but we don't know how to do that. So that is also, there is a, also a process for that. Simply also giving name and uh, link also works, but generally there is a tassel rule, T-A-S-L, where we are write, going to write title of the resource, author of the resource, source or link from where we have accessed that particular resource and the license which is applied by the author. These are the four things which needs to be mentioned under citation that this is the resource we have used. So this is the way of basically giving credit to a person. Now, how to use information ethically or content, digital content ethically? The first is citation. First and foremost for a teacher is citation, which help us to A, being safe because we are not violating anything. And second, we are also avoiding plagiarism because we are giving the citation of that particular resource. Copywriting material, using copywriting material is unethical, so never use it oh, without yeah. permission or without payment or buying whatever is applicable. Use of materials in public domain, yes, that is ethical use. Use of information or data which is not copyrighted, even though it is not written public domain, but it is not copyrighted, then you can use it. Say, for example, OER data or any other so resource uh, license data. If it is not copyrighted, you can use it. Now, we have talked a lot about this Creative Commons. What this Creative Commons does, whenever, say for example, you have created a video of maybe uh, any concept which you teach and you want to release it under Creative Commons. So you have chosen a particular license according to your need and you released it. Now, once you release it, that content which you have released becomes open educational resource because CC license qualifies any resource to be an open educational resource because we are giving permission for using it, reusing it and sharing it further. Even though we are using the most restricted license, but still the permission of using, reusing and sharing is there with us. So that is the OER, open educational resource, when we are giving these permission with any kind of e-content. Now we say how to search for these CC content or OER, open educational resources, where to locate these. There are many platforms for uh, searching this. I have mentioned a few in the, 
there there is a question anyone can be used okay can we update or upgrade the copyright after it's expired sir uh, generally when it expires it the any objects anything uh, it it comes under public domain but if we are somehow we are going to uh, we have modified it and created a new content out of it then you can reclaim the copyright for the new content where and how we can get the cc yes we will discuss that also please mute yourself somebody's mic is unmuted pinky if you could just help us with this so in cc for example you want to search content for uh, creative commons may i request you to please mute yourself somebody is unmuted and disturbing the session alok are you there can you help thank you so there are different platforms available from where we can get the content which is open educational resource we can use these platforms you can see on my screen google advanced search creative commons search jorum expert connecting repositories base free full pdf directory of oer unsplash pixabay pixabay is for images unsplash i think is also for images base is for educational content you can use that these are a few windows uh, i have tried to open so that uh, you can see google advanced search we will just try to see expert how you can search there jorum is there core all these are open educational resources which are available then for courses which are in open uh, source are from edx open to study bridge to success all these are free and open sources course which you can do as a uh, as a your developmental course then multimedia resources for multimedia resources we have geogebra which we are going to cover in these coming sessions pet science simulations wikimedia commons hippo campus jamendo music for music generally we have lot of queries for music where to get it so jamendo is one option teach tube teacher tube like youtube we have teacher tube on youtube you can see i have highlighted in a different color not not all the resources are under creative commons only some which are released under creative commons can be accessed as a free resource o labs online labs which we are now doing it as a virtual lab here avogadro for chemistry there are different resources for chemistry then these are the books uh, uh, these are the website hosting books which are released under open source these are different repositories for content e content which you can as a teacher access and use it for freely and openly now the question was how to create an open source license so we will go on to that i am simply going to google keep uh, with me here now in google i am saying creative commons when I, when i simply write creative commons there is this website creativecommons.org i will visit here here it is written share your work use and remix what we do so i am going to share my work so i am going to put this for here basically it is allowing me to get a license i am saying get started now when i come here please mute yourself license now i am going to select for myself for my uh, content which i have developed so here you can see license features your choice on this panel will update the other panel on this page this is one panel this is the other panel right now it is showing cc by so here it is selected allow adaptations of your work to be shared if you want that other teachers or people can use your work and make changes to it edit it you can say yes or you can say allow commercial uses of work you can say yes in that case the license would be this cc by and if allow adaptation for your work to be shared you don't want others to make changes to your work you say no so the license will change cc by nd this is nd non derivative that means this is a cc resource you have to give attribution but you cannot make changes to this particular resource 
Now I say yes, as long as others share alike. So I have changed. Now you can see CC, Creative Commons, by means attribution. Then here is SA. SA means share alike, that you can use it, you can reuse it, you can make profit, you can make changes. But only thing is, please, if you are going to make changes, please share it in the same license again through any portal. So that is the uh, one license. Uh, these are three licenses now we have seen. Now I'm saying allow commercial uses of your work. So I say no. So this says CC by NC. That means no commercial use. And then you are saying share alike. That means here you are making changes but you are not allowing it for the commercial activity. Now, if I change, say no, you can see the license has changed. That CC by NC, you cannot use it for commercial purposes and you cannot make changes to it. Similarly, if I say yes here, it says you can create, uh, use it, you can recreate it, but Please don't earn money out of it. This is the license which we are going to get. So this is how you can also create licenses for yourself. These are the ways of uh, creating your own licenses. Once you explore these website, you will be able to uh, you will be able to do it yourself. Please repeat once again, ma'am. Which part you want me to re repeat? See, go to Creative Commons website, share your resource, choose the button, share your resource, and you will be able to create your own license. So this is how you can create the license. Now there is this use that, ma'am, how can we find open educational resources? How we can locate that particular object is a open educational or not. So for that also, I'm going to share the screen and show you. I am here, as I have shared a few slides with you, in the slides also, you have a lot of information that where you can access the resources. Google Advanced Search, Creative Commons Search, you can search all these platforms. There is no problem in that. But one, I'm going to show it on how to do it on Google. Say, for example, I'm right now on Google. This is the way Google looks like to all of us. I am going to search some image. Say, for example, I'm going to search an image for OER. And I say this. Now, a lot of resources are appearing. I go to images. Here, we have tools. Click on the tools. Here you can choose the size, what kind of size you want. You want which color, black and white or any other color, type of resource which you want, clip art, line drawing, any resource, time, how old it should be. Any time, past 24 hours, kitni purani huni chahiye. Then you have usage rights. Here, creative common license, commercial and other license. So you can choose amongst these that you want it for commercial purposes or general creative commons. So I will say creative commons. So now you can say, uh, see that the screen has changed the option and these are now open educational resources images which are available for me to use. These I can use with giving credit to that author or that particular person. So similarly, we can also uh, check these rights under a basic Google and also under YouTube. So now I'll take you to YouTube. We are on YouTube right now. How to search for something? I am again typing OER. Now I have searched. Now you have to apply the filters. I am going to open the filters. Here there is the Creative Commons filter. If I apply this Creative Commons filter, my searches will change. All the resources now under are released under open educational resources. Say for example, I'm going to click on this resource, open educational resource, not playing it right now, simply checking the license. You can see CC by SA. See this. This is how you can uh, select the o, uh, free and open source resources, which are uh, uh, which you can reuse also. And if the 
say for example this resource allows you to edit and make commercial profit also you can do that so this is how basically we are moving with the open educational resources one more thing which i want to add is under cc licenses that now creative commons has also given us one more idea that you can launch your resource as cc0 that means public domain you don't have to give credit but you can uh, definitely share your resource as cc0 which is very much equal to public domain so this when you are going to create educational resources in upcoming days you are going to search for many images online please search for cc images creative commons images or whenever as a teacher you are going to release your resources release it under your preferable license of creative commons now if i give you an example of uh, ncert cit all the textbook of uh, cit all the textbooks of cit are and uh, sorry ncert are under the license of ncnd that means you cannot use it for commercial purposes and neither you can make changes to it but all the e contents which are created by cit based on those textbooks are released under cc by ncsc that means you are not allowed to use them commercially but you can use them reuse them and also you can edit them but you have to release it under again similar license so that people can get more content freely and easily to access it in cc license images the images are there we can we use them yes you can use them okay if you have uh, how we come to know if anyone violated the cc license sir i'll give you rather uh, uh, i'll give you an example of our own ncert faculty you might be uh, you you'll hear it once again that when you are uploading something on uh, say for example youtube if that resource is already released by somebody else it will you youtube will automatically identify it and it will remove that part from the video that means at that place it will be simple plain available it will not the whole video will not be visible if the music is copyrighted then youtube will remove the music there will be no music it will right i have seen many videos uh, they say the music is not played because of copyrighted reasons so this is how we get to know about this we are not at individual levels able to check it but through uploading and downloading we get to see that Uh, the resource which we are using what part is copyrighted or not also copyright is not very strong but now it is becoming very strong so it is always better to take precautions from starting while learning it and using it rather than when we get to face any difficulty then we start learning about it so this is how we get to know that how uh, on the youtube i myself have seen in many programs you see you will find out that music has been blocked or some image has been removed and the indication also comes that it has been removed due to copyrighted purposes oh uh, same way explain about videos ma'am what uh, same uh, you want to know about videos teacher tube is uh, another like youtube you can find out videos also on online and you can use them as creative common resources or oer and it is available for you to use it similarly you can access pixabay is for images as i mentioned in the slide so uh, all the for all kind of content we have different repositories and platforms you can access all those there any questions if you have now you can ask also i am seeing in the chat box please mark your attendance if anybody has missed it please mark your attendance uh i think there is some problem pinky in the uh, yeah it please. was a wrong link shared before now she is again up, okay. uh, uploading posting right. please verify it before uploading always yes uh, sering sir from ladakh please ask your question unmute yourself and ask your question there is one more question is there any approval required after created our license to use 
for our content no 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 approval is required once you create there you can copy that license under your content that's it sharing sir ladakh please unmute and say okay if there are no queries then uh, for now we are done with oer but i will be there with you during all the sessions i am there you can ask the question or you can post it in the whatsapp group there is one assignment starting from here we will be having total four assignments during the program the first assignment is a course on oer there is a course two hour course for oer open educational resources course the link will be shared in the Uh, whatsapp group and also the link will be shared in the chat uh, pinky if you can just please share the link in the chat of the course please go through that link register on that link and then complete that course in the desktop version of the if you are doing it on mobile please use the desktop version if you are doing it on laptop you can do it directly and have a good connectivity you can do it at night time also please complete that course that is one assignment of yours and you have to submit the certificate as an assignment when we are going to share the uh, assignment submission form with you so please uh, complete that course oer course for 2 hours and submit the certificate as an assignment for this session we will be posting more assignments during the session itself so please uh, complete that course the link will be shared with you uh, yes for the ppts we have a page on cit when you go to the cit website under event section we have the page srg all the ppts are being uploaded there along with the session recordings so you can go and check the recording again if you have missed because of connectivity or any other problem you can uh, check the session from there and also uh, uh, see the ppt from there thank you very much over to pinky thank you monica ma'am for sharing very important uh, aspect of any work either it's personal or official or e content development this is the mandatory or important task and aspect mm -hmm. of any any product so thank you again for such a detailed uh, knowledge and information on licensing now my colleague will be sharing soon the attendance leads uh, attendance link link and you have to mark your uh, attendance in there and every day in the morning and afternoon sessions uh, two times attendance list at, an attendance link will be shared and you have to mark your attendance and based on a some percentage the that percentage will be decided later you will be assigned with certificate and uh, so you have to be present in all the session you have to participate in all the session so i will just soon uh, post that link attendance link and be mindful every time to mark your attendance 